Hi. How you doing today? I'm hoping by the grace of God you are doing wonderful. Um, once again, it's Felicia. I'm just coming your way. I want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, just a quick message. I'm um, I had a meeting to catch a uh, five twenty, and it's actually a five after five now. I went to library because well, I I am lazy today. But people who knows me, especially um, a family members and people who are really close to me know that. I'm not an outing person. I <laughs> I'm lazy to go out. I don't I don't like to go out at all. And today, early in this morning, it was something that I put it up. Um, like I was on hold. So last week I called and checked in um, library, and it wasn't on yet. So today, this morning, I get text message through my phone that I'm supposed to come to the library to do some paperwork, which is I was expecting to do so. So those paperwork is involved with the manager. There's a particular uh, manager that is in, um, that I manage what I had to do over there. So when I get there, the manager needs to be paged by the front. And before that, I needed some books. So I have went and gave my books that. So as I was checking out, and I needed the paperwork, as I was saying, and the manager needed to be paged. As she was coming, she already been paged, so she's coming. There was a guy next to me trying to check out. But he had some argument going on. I have no idea what it was, you know, whatever they were arguing about. But then I hear him say, I had to fight for everything that I do. I'm getting tired of it. So since it was, I'm loud. People know me that my voice is loud. So I may talk to you in a different manner. If you don't know me, you will think I'm angry or something. Because my voice is loud. But if you know me, they, you used to. But I talk when I feel like or wanted to. But I don't. People who are leaving with me, like my brother or my mother, any family member who have lived with me, you know that I don't feel talking. I'm not a talking, talking person. There are days. Uh, I have, I've had my days and stuff like that. So... A long story short, I gave a hand to the guy. I gave him a sign, and he was looking at me like, oh, is she out of her mind or something? But I want her to stop the argument. This sudden argument, it don't need to be argued. It don't need to be started at all. You you, you can't fight for what you, you, you you're not going to win or something. The, the, the sun, the shadow, and the thing is getting to my eye. But you, you have to fight a good fight, okay? So when we all get out in the front of the building, the library, as I was getting to my car, and I say, hey, let, let me have a quick word with you if you don't mind. He, he, he didn't mind. So I talked to him and I said, listen, I heard you saying you had to fight for everything. Hey, I didn't pray. <laughs> let us pray. Father God, have your way. Talk to your people. Bless them. Give them hope and love. Increase your faith in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. So guess what? As I was talking to him and I told him that life is fight. We get a fight through. I heard you saying that you had to fight through everything. Yes, you're doing all right. But you have to make sure what you are fighting for, what you're fighting about is worth of fighting for. You understand? Your sudden fight, it don't need to be fight at all. But we need to fight because we're in a season where God has touched us. He, he has taught us a long time how to fight and he has let us in the fight now. You in a ring where you need to fight because you've been training for too long. You understand? So I, I don't know what you're fighting about. I don't want to get into your business, but I want to give you a word of encouragement and say if you have that strength, fight through it. There are days where you you, you you're not you know you're not in yourself to do it, but you have to get up and do it. And I say, hey I had a test message to come and do this paperwork for library. But the question is I was willing to get out? No. I wasn't really, but then I didn't have any other choice because I'm expecting things to get done. So I had to come and I get this paperwork done. Okay. So, um, keep your head up and keep on fighting. If it's worth of fighting for, do fight for it. And whatever you do, get an opinion, get a second opinion. Cause whatever anybody will tell you, get a second opinion about the right people. And then I, I I wanted to share a little bit of word of God with him. So after that, I get to my car and I say, hey, let me share with you. It kind of like, 
I think I was talking to this guy, but I end up talking to myself as normally. That's what I'm going to say. God will not put no word into your heart or he won't speak to you to do something or he will empower you to do something without you benefit from it. You understand? So whatever you are doing, if it's a right thing, know that God wants you to do it and also he wants you to learn. Okay. So as I was coming, I was thinking and it kind of lead me to Proverbs. And I want to read something quick <laughs> about you. I mean, uh, to you. Okay. I'm so excited. And then <laughs> I just, because I had a, a, key, um, a very nice meeting that I had to get to it. So I want to talk to you. I want to give you a brief about what the Proverbs is telling us. Things that we do. Okay. So, um, Proverbs 14.23. Proverbs 14.23. It says, those who work hard make a profit, but those who only talk will be poor. Those who work hard will make a profit, but those who only talk will be poor. So, whatever you wanted in life, you got to fight through it. You need money, you got to work. Okay, the sun is killing me because I can see it so bright. So you you, you, you you had to fight for everything that you want because God have taught you. He have been teaching you for too long how to fight. You understand? And this time alone, it's not like he have forsake you. It's not like because the things are hard around you that he have left you alone because he doesn't care. He does care about you. Okay, you do care. It's just that he has put so much power in you that he is preaching that you acknowledge and recognize and use it. Put it to work. Put it to work. Make that step. Take that step. Do it. You've been thinking about it so much. You've been putting notes. You've been writing it. You've been putting a date. I don't know. You've been writing your diary or some. You, 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 th you thought about it so much. Take that step. And see how it's going to come out. Don't be afraid. Because the only thing that can hold you back is fear. And it's good at it. We are our own enemies. Because we, 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 we know. We know we fall shot in so many ways. That oh I can't do this. Oh my God I don't deserve this. I don't deserve. No. <laughs> you are a child of God. Trust me. Nothing is about for you. Nothing is about for you. You deserve it at all. Because your father owns it all. I'm a, I'm a princess. <laughs> I have the key to the kingdom of God. And it, it doesn't give me a limitation about things that is mine. It's not. Because everything is my father's. I'm inheriting. It's mine. So, fight. Fight a good fight. Okay? Fight a good fight. Put some put whatever you're thinking to work. Don't give up. It's a fight. Yes, you have to know that it's a fight. The moment you know that it's a fight, then you will fight. Okay. Proverbs 14, 23 says, Those who work hard make a profit, but those who only talk will be poor. So it's not always about talking in your mouth because you can't, nobody can claim that, oh, Felicia is my friend and I can say it's in a fool and talk to her this or so and so hours. <laughs> no, I normally, I was sleeping instead. I don't have friends and I don't really waste time on those things because it's, most of them, it's not worth it. Okay. But I like to get along with people. I'm in somewhere, so the car is just passing by. I, I like to get along with people, but it just, uh, I use my time for very um for something that is really important to me. So I don't party, I don't go here, I don't go there. And nah, I it's not in my list. So it's not like you're talking to someone alone. Sometimes when we sit down and keep writing it down, sometimes when we keep thinking about it, it's pretty much talking because we talk to ourselves. I talk to myself. The other day is where I put myself in check. Yeah, that is where my, my heart is thinking about something else. My mind is somewhere and my body wants something. I put myself in check and say, hey, 
You know what I mean. You a girl. Come on now. <laughs> you a guy. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. There are days where you want your mind to focus on God because <laughs> you got up and all you wanted to think about is God. But your flesh is telling you something else. It's giving you a feeling. And it's something that you cannot re uh, rely on. Feeling chains. You cannot rely on something that it changed so many times. No. So as I was saying, you have to fight through it. You can't just give it up. I don't know. And I, I don't know what the doctors have told you. They, they say that th that disease will, will get rid of you. I don't know what they're saying. That, but you can't give up. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to fight. You understand? This life that we are living is, is fight. That's why Proverbs 14.23 is telling us that. Those who work hard make a profit. But those who only talk will be poor. So you have to put your dream to work. It's okay to dream. Dream big too. As a child of God, you're going to dream big. Because there's no limitation about your dream. It is so amazing how God, the things that God wants for us. But at the end of the day, we limited ourselves because we have limited God. Put your dream to work. You understand? Put your dream to work. Take that step. It doesn't matter you're going to get denied. Deny is not delayed. And delay is not denied. You understand? So, keep on trying. How many times you been turned down? Keep on trying. It's worth of it's worth of you fighting for. Then you're gonna have to put your coat on. You're gonna put that hermit that you're gonna fight. You understand? Fight. As a child of God, God have told you how to fight. He's He have brought you in a season of fighting. You had to fight. You're gonna have to tell the enemies that listen. This is what I believe, and that's what I'm sticking about. I don't care what any, any advice somebody's giving to me. I refuse to compromise when it comes to the word of God. You going to have to fight. You have been sitting there for too long. You thought about what you want to do, but fight. You understand? Fight, 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 fight. I came to tell you. I came to remind you how strong you are. I came to tell you how precious you are before the kingdom of God. And I'm reminding you that the power that he has put it in you, you're going to fight. You have to fight. Fight for what you want. Fight for what you believe in. Fight to stay where you need to be. Okay? And I have another one. Another Proverbs. Chapter 5, verse 21. It also says something. It says, the Lord sees everything you do. And he watches everywhere you go. So don't just be in any places. Don't just be in anywhere. Don't just do things anyhow. God is watching you. Do your things like you're being watched by important people. That at the end of the day, they're going to reward you. Do your things like your father is watching you. I am from Ghana, originally. And from a royal home. And I know this is how it works. If you had to be a king or the queen in the house, you had to be taught. They will train you how the things that works in that house and how you're supposed to live. So you can't just live your life in, in that town anyhow, how people see you. And then when you get to the a time where they had to put you in the throne, no, people are going to say you don't deserve it because they're going to they're gonna show how you live your life and how they don't want you to lead them. So end of the day, listen, before God will put you in that position, position before God will limit, I may lift you up, before God will empower you to get there, you're going to have to live your life right. You're going to have to fight through, I mean, fight to, to believe what you want. Fight through it. But you can't just live your life anyhow and just, you know, do your things anyhow and expect to get there. You say God watches it. Okay, Proverbs 5. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 21 says, The Lord sees everything you do, and he watches everywhere you go. So Felicia cannot do anything anyhow because I've been watched. 
I can't be any places anyhow because I've been watched. And I'm not just watched by anyone else. Anybody who watch me, it's not everybody that I care that much about what they're watching because end of the day, whatever you do, people must talk without them knowing. But end of the day, the person that meets so important to me, it means everything to me because he says that if I behave and I do what he want me to do, I'm getting everything I ask him. So, oh, trust me, it's a privilege. By end of the day, I had to work for it. I had to behave myself. There are days where I had to bring my body and my mind under the suggestion. I had to say, hey, Felicia, you better think this way. You know what I mean? So fight. I don't want to hold you long. I don't want to miss my, um, my meeting. But it was good that I taught you. God bless you. I love you so much, but God loves you more. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye.